put you in the mood for football. Jack, if you don't drink some Jack Daniel, number seven. It's refreshing. Let me take a tip. Special picks for today to tell you what's going on in the world of football and what's going to happen this week. You pay money for this a lot of times to get you a good gambling picks. And we're giving it to you free. Free, baby. No charge. And if you listen to our podcast, you'll find out that you're going to get better picks with the three of us than you will when you call those numbers and say, hey, we're going to give you a winner. They full of crap. You know, but you watch this show, we'll give you the information you need to make your picks. So we're going to get started today and start out talking about what happened last week and what a week it was because it came down to the last game, the last minutes of the last game because we had the cameraman here took Indianapolis plus four. Oh! And then we had this guy here that took the charges straight up and that's what changed it. We had four games and four players at 1,000 points. 1,000, wow. And whoever won, won it all and later won. So this week, we don't have the trophies with us because we're here on location. But if we did, little trophy, big trophy, we'll be sitting right over there. I almost had a fella on the shoulder saying, I would never win. I would never get the trophy. Now I see like I can't stop winning. Why? I never came to win. Came I'm just win, having fun Jack. with my friend. But they brought the competitive spirit into it, and now we're doing it. It's all about the W's now, baby. Let's get it, Paul. Hey, last week I told eBay, I'm like, man, you, you opened up the, the, the giant all of a sudden. And every other week he's pulling the little trophy and the big trophy yeah. and taking our money. Come on, man. So this week we got to we got to step it up, eBay, because uh, he, he's taking the trophies from us. So this week we got to do it with him. I got to catch like, up with I, him on the point. Was I close? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you had a really bad Jim, week. Everybody Jim, was at like, a thousand points. You had 475 points. The winner here had 1120. Yeah, That's yeah. a big difference. Yeah. So that lets you know I don't watch your picks, but you might need to watch mine. <laughs> 175 or 1120, that's a big guy. Hey, man. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of money in between that, hey. boy. Folks, these premium picks, I keep telling you, premium picks from a semi-professional pick. I ain't going to get myself professional stuff, but I am I got to salute you, my God. I got to salute you. So I ain't no hater. Look at what I would have said. I'm like, Rick Flair, from worst to first. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Jack, like the man, I'm like, yeah, Jack. Well, yeah, like, back pocket, Jack. Get in. They right. gonna need picks, Bob. So, I changed my strategy up after last week. I decided to take every pick that eBay doesn't take. <laughs> so we're gonna see how that works this week. Plus it gives eBay a chance to catch up some points. So we're gonna start out right here at Nissan Stadium, a Thursday night football game. We got the Cowboys 12 point favorites over a Titans team that doesn't give a damn about this game. All their players are sitting out. Wow. Henry's probably going to be sitting out. He's doubtful. Wow. Tannehill's out. Simmons is wow. out. So they're sitting all their big star players because they're getting ready for next week. Because this game means absolutely nothing. So they're just giving it up. Not, you're paying for a seat in this game to watch the backups. Wow. wow. But anyway, that's what's going to happen now. So. Here we go, we're gonna make the big picks. So, D-Bank, who are you gonna take? <laughs> I don't care if it's first man, last man, third man, the out the door man, man, the Titans man. 
But I'm going to take that plus 12 and a half, though, y'all. I'm going to take that. I'm going to be safe. But I safe. think, it's I really think we're really going to have a way to pull it through. I understand they're sitting everybody getting ready for Jacksonville. It'll be a miracle. It'll be a miracle. That would be great. But you know what? Just mark it right here. I am going to come out and say that this is one of those games that if Vegas can get to swap one way, because, I mean, minus 12 for the Cowboys on a backup squad of the Titans seems like an awful generous give from Vegas. Well, they, they still possess. You know. They got, they got a little pride. You know, they practice hard this week, right? Hey, they going to come out, man, and Vegas going to figure out a way. This is a conspiracy part of our show, folks. Yes, they, they will figure out a way to keep this game close, some kind of way, whether it's turnovers or bloopers on Dallas's part, or, 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 or Dak getting hurt, or they'll figure out a way to get it done. But either way, give me the Titans plus 12, too, at home, at, at, in the town, downtown, at the Titans. It's a showdown, baby. Yes, let's go, Titans. Yes, hey, let's I go, baby. I'm going to go completely. <laughs> the King said it, though. You heard that now. The winner. With my the Houston Oilers out. Yeah, 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 yeah. My conspiracy theory yeah, 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 yeah. ideas. I'm going to take the Titans straight up win this game. Because I don't even think that the Cowboys have a chance for home field. But the Eagles have to lose every game. And I think the Cowboys know that that ain't going to happen. They might as well pack it in. They're going to get the same spot in the playoffs no matter what happens in this game today. Vegas needs the money. Vegas is going to be like, hey, this is one game Vegas will make tons of money if the Titans win. And that's why I say the Titans win this game, pull it out against the Cowboys just for the fact that neither team really needs this game. Wow. Wow. That's so, a big prediction from SPP. But yeah. Say Big Paul. Hey. <laughs> Huge pick. Yeah, but yeah. Huge pick. but I, I'm confident in this pick. I, <laughs> all right, so here we go. We're going to start back now with the Cardinals and the, the Falcons. This game, another game, doesn't mean much. So nah. It'll take time. You got a three and a half point spread. The Falcons are favored. Who are you going to take later? So, Falcons at, at the Cardinals. No, no, it's Cardinals at Atlanta. Well, I, I, like you said, don't matter. Give me the Cardinals to win the game finally. Somebody, nobody saw it coming. Vegas wins. I win with Vegas. Let's go. What you got? Plus three and a half Cardinals. Let's go. All right. I take the, the Falcons minus three and a half at home. The next one, we got the, the, the Lions and the Bears. A big in, uh, in division rivalry that's always going on. But almost a touchdown favorite for the Lions against the Bears. What are you going to do on that, mate? Bears, hit up. Ooh, that's a big pick. What you got? Detroit head up. All right, I'm going to take the Lions minus six. Uh, I say they win it by a touchdown. Wow. Say SP pick. He even got the hundred. Yeah, yeah, Shit. yeah. I'm just, I'm just thinking that all the money's going toward the Bears covering that spread, so I say they do. Texans and Jaguars. The Jags are a minus four and a half point favorite against the Texans at Houston. What you got? Texas plus four and a half. I second that motion. I'm going to go ahead and take the Jaguars at minus four and a half, even though that game means absolutely nothing. But I think betters might be thinking the same thing. Right, right, right. When right. I'm super confident, I always lose. So I'm going with the game I'm not super confident on. There it is. All right. Broncos and Chiefs, 12 and a half points. Again, division rivalry, 12 and a half. You think they're going to do it, eBay? No. Take the Broncos plus the 12 and a half. Russell won't win, but he'll be able to get on his Mustang right out. All right, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Chiefs at minus 12 and a half. It's at Kansas City. The Broncos don't give a crap about this season, I don't think. So 12 and a half, let's say two touchdowns. Hey, I, I, I wanna take Broncos head up. Cause I'm home gonna lose or something. But uh, I will take the 12 and a half. That's easy money, y'all. Yo, you should take it too. <laughs> okay, now, one of the big games this week is the Dolphins and Patriots. This game matters. Two and a half points. The Patriots are the favorite. Now, obviously, it's in New England, but the Patriots are favored against the Dolphins. What are you going to do, Mater? I'm going to take, take the Patriots because I know Tua is still a uh, concussion protocol, and uh, he probably won't play. Better check and figure out a way to win this game. So, now, just give me the Patriots. Head up. Sorry, head up. 
I'm just going to take the minus two and a half because I'm like you. I, I think I think with the, the injury, they'll, they'll pull it off. And plus, most people are thinking, what? You know, the, they think that the Dolphins uh, should win that game. So, But I'm taking the Patriots minus two and a half. Which Not so fast, my friend. Hey, man, those guys will pull it off plus the two and a half. I'm going to take that bet. Dolphins win plus two and a half. Let's go to the game. All right, Giants and Colts. You got a six-point favorite in the Giants. And what you taking, e Man, I'm taking the Colts. You taking Straight the up. Colts and up. Man, Straight up. Pick. After last week, you you know, it's hard to take that pick. And I'm just going to go ahead and take the Giants minus six. Even though I think that's what everybody else is thinking, you know, sometimes they got to go with what they got to what they got to go with. So I'm taking the Giants minus six. Give me the Giants. Yeah, it up. All right. I don't break them. Shit, I woke up trying to get it. I had dreams of wearing Jacob. Watch it, bought the peas for a thousand. See what I can make about it. I ain't in the villa talking. Ain't about money. Switch the topic. Two times got the switching choppers. What's a gremlin to a goblin? Rain check when I walk in the club. They got on rubber boots. We been playing defense, but on offense, we just gonna shoot. Tell me the procedure when them youngins up them guns on you. They tell you how I feel when they ain't about Welcome back to Conspiracy Theories Football. We're going to finish out these picks for you today. Help you guys make some money. We're going with the Saints and the Eagles coming up next. The Saints are giving are getting six points from the Eagles. So Saints, big underdogs in this game, playing in Philadelphia. Who are you going to take, you, baby? Hey, man, the Saints come in. Who that? Plus six, man. Saints. Hey, man, I like that pick, man. What you like, bro? I am going to take the Eagles and the minus six. You know, even without their quarterback in there, they played a damn good game against the Cowboys, and I think this week after losing the Cowboys, they're going to come out fired up, and that defense is going to score enough points to cover the spread. So, taking the Eagles minus six. Give me the Saints. Plus. All right. Panthers, two-and-a-half-point underdogs to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tampa Bay. That seems shocking to me that it's just two-and-a-half points. So what are you thinking, Mater? Tampa is playing. The Panthers. The Panthers. The Panthers. Yeah. That's the plan to call. Yeah. Oh, who's that big Tampa win? Head up. <laughs> taking a head-up win. What are you taking there? You man, think? give me minus two-and-a-half with Tampa, man, because Tom Brady will definitely make it to the and he'll put a team out. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna take the Panthers plus two and a half. You know, because I think that they're gonna make it close. They're gonna make it look good. And plus, it's just too easy to say Tampa wins that by minus two and a half. There's gotta be, there's gotta be some kind of conspiracy going on there. So, yeah, exactly. But uh, their next pick is the Browns and the Redskins, two teams that. You know, are kind of in the hunt for playoffs, but not really. So, what are you going to take? The the Browns are getting two points at Washington. I'm just going to say this game, Deshaun Washington stepped up. He have a great game. Nick chose him. They keep Washington off his off the field. Chase, I know he's trying to get back. I know he's back, but not going to matter against children to get the deck out again. But, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking uh, the Browns plus the two. I'm going to go completely the opposite. Like I said, I was going to. And I'm going Washington <laughs> minus two. That's what I like. I like to watch the Get it up, though. No points. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good pick, too. All right, the next one is the, the, the wonderful, crazy 49ers Ooh. on their third string quarterback. Ooh. Still blowing the clouds. Winning. 35 points they're putting up with a third string quarterback still winning games. Most teams on their second quarterbacks just pack it up. Right. You know, right. like here at Nissan Stadium. Right, right, right. <laughs> but you got the 49ers, 10 point favorite over the Raiders. Who are you going to take, you, babe? Wow, what, sir? <laughs> I can't wait to run and play with that. I can't wait. <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm going to get back on the topic, man. Hey, the Raiders come out full strength. 
Jacobs, they have a good game for the Raiders. Raiders win, get some head up, y'all. But guess what? San Francisco, I told Mayda earlier, they built on pass and team, but Raiders can run. Raiders win this game. I love that pick. I wanted to take it myself, but I'm going to go a little bit different. I'm going to take the Raiders plus 10. I think that's a, at home, Oakland's getting, I mean, obviously, you know, they're playing in Vegas, but. It's awesome. Yeah. I, but I just, if they're playing San Francisco, I understand the 10, but I, I'm surely, surely the Raiders can cover the 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Raiders should cover the 10, but I'm going I'm to I'm go on the conspiracy side of the show and, and, and pick that way. And I'm going to take San Fran minus the 10. They keep rolling. They've been rolling. Next man up with them. There's something going on with San Fran. If they go to the Super Bowl and win it, you're here to first, man. I predict it. Win the third string quarterback. Win the third. Next man up. Man. Just keep winning. Hey, that's choo choo. That's right. There you go. Man, that's a great And I'm not a 49ers fan either. <laughs> Jets and Seahawks, uh, a game that has a little bit of importance to two teams trying to fight for a playoff spot. Both teams seem to be tanking, so who's tanking worse there, eBay? I'm going to tell you, Andy, you're going to be proud this week, even though I don't like fitting with you no more, but they dance this week. They get the, they get the whatever dance. Not, 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 not so fast, man. <laughs> Gino. He's having a career year, I believe, man. He's probably doing better than he ever did in the league. And he wants that to keep continue to go, man. And they're going to work with Geno and the Seattle Seahawks. They will be in the playoff. Geno going to win this game. Head up. Forget the points. I'm right there with you. At Seattle, man, I just don't see the Seahawks losing the chance. Seattle straight up. Vikings and Packers, big division rivals. Big game. They like it. Yeah, the Packers given three and a half points to the back. Can you believe that? And for that reason, I'm taking the pack. Just because there's no reason. Even though it's at Green Bay, there's no reason. But that freezing, freezing cold Green Bay weather. Even though Minnesota team. Even though the Minnesota, even though it gets real cold in the high snow in Minnesota. Uh, but they play the dome, like you said. Yeah. But uh I'm like, I, I look at Minnesota just like San Fran. No matter what they do with the spread, they, they just, they just going to keep winning. So Minnesota, head up over Green Bay. They continue they lose it. What you got there, you think? Plus three, fight on. Fight on. It's going to It could be a big Plus game. Plus three and a half. We all got something different on there. So now the Rams are playing the Chargers. The six and a half point Chargers favorite at Los Angeles, obviously. <laughs> uh, so, uh, which team, which Los Angeles team are you going to pick, Barry? Man, Vegas may still have a great game this time. I'm going to take that plus six and a half, but give me a little more comfort zone. We're going to the game with a six and a half point. So, I'm going to take the Rams. But, let me go ahead and go completely the opposite and take the Chargers at minus six and a half. You know, the star, they want their. They want the stars in there. They want the, the, the new boys to play in these playoffs. They got to get Herbert in there. The Chargers win by a touchdown. I'm going to go haywire with this pick. Hey, man, I said Beckham wasn't going to win a game on this show. I think we haven't started. And that man, don't want, what do you want? One and one or two and one? Oh. Either way, the man is fighting for real, and he's, he's going to start a job again. So give me the rounds. Head up. In our game, y'all. And he is one of one, but even in his loss, he, he, he did his side. That's side. all I'm saying. He did his side. That's all I'm play. saying. Give me the round head up. I'm off the, I'm off the wall with that. All right, Steelers and Ravens. Another big division game. They kind of saved these for the end for the playoff runs. You got the Ravens as a two-and-a-half point favorite only at Baltimore. Why is that, E.B.? I bet. <laughs> Lamar. Lamar, Lamar's back. Give me the Ravens. He's like roller skates. Mine is two and a half. He's like rock that ass. He's like moving and walking. What you got? Oh, yeah, you ain't going to go. You work in the rain. You work in the rain, baby. You work in the rain. We don't remember. But, uh, Lamar, give me Pittsburgh head up. Man, forget Lamar. <laughs>
slapping this shit. Call the exterminator, it's a rat and they click. Spinning like turntables, drop a bag on your wig. I'm in the hood like jumping cables in the box, riding rich. Number riding stolen plates, now we flying out of state. Pledge allegiance to the clan to make sure we all straight. Got a heater in my hand, if they play, they all bait. Baby girl in good hands, she insecure like all state. She come first, I come late. Casamigos, Bombay. Married to the head, I bought her a tongue ring. You gotta pay your way, you up a skirt, I'm in her brain. Double cups and ice cubes, man, today's a good day. First, I'm gon' stretch the dough. Shit, fuck it, I'ma stretch it some more. Cut my phone off and count my bread. Call up my young bitch with the fire ass head. Get fresh, go and put that shit on. Louis Shoes, Burberry, Cologne. Okay. The biggest game we got this week is the Monday night game. Hey, what up, boy? Say, are you ready for some football? Hey, 